Hello everyone and welcome back to Engineeringly. In our today's video, we will talk about risk, probability and impact matrix and how to create a dynamic one using Microsoft Excel. For example, if I increase this value to, for example, 6, as you see, the colors will change. I will undo this. Impact and probability are two main components of risk analysis. Looking at impacts versus probability is common in order to categorize and prioritize risks, as some risks may have a severe impact on project objectives, but only happen on rare occasions, while others have a moderate impact but occur more frequently. All project activities involve risk. Risks are the uncertainties which can have a positive or negative effect on the project objectives. All projects are unique and thus the associated risk varies between projects. Therefore, risk management is an important part of any organization as proper management increases the likelihood for the success of the project. Risk management involves identifying possible risks and analyzing their potential in order to respond to and control the project's most significant threats and opportunities. In this template, as you can see, the horizontal axis is the probability of the risk and the vertical axis is the impact. The levels of the risk might be named differently by different organizations. But in this template, we will only use the low, moderate and high. This matrix will help you to prioritize and categorize your risks in the project. For example, what number are you going to assign for a risk with high probability and high impact? That will be number six. So how do we create one using Microsoft Excel? Let me take you through the step-by-step -step process and show you how I created this template. I have copied this one from this sheet. We will only work with the numbers and the conditional formatting here. For the numbers, I will write down this cell equals to the number in this cell plus 1. So as we pull this to the right or to the down, the numbers will be automatically added to 1. Let's drag it to the right first and then to the down. Once this is done, the next thing is to apply the conditional formatting. We will go to conditional formatting, we will select color scales and more rules. From here, we will select three color scale. And there, the lowest value should be shown in green. We will select a decent green color. For the midpoint, we will select the yellow one. And for the highest value, we will select the red. Click OK. So as you can see, if you change any of the values here, for example, let's make this like, for example, 8. And as you can see, the numbers will automatically change. Let's undo this. So this is how you create a probability and risk impact in Microsoft Excel. And you might be able to use it for further risk assessment in your projects. If you like the content of the video and want to see more like this, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you very much for watching.